Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. Well, in this episode we are finally, finally taking a look at the brand new character that was released on Tuesday, Sindel. I know this is super late, this is about three days too late. Uh, the reason is I was traveling and then I was busy uh, this past week, so I didn't really have a time to check this character out. But today is the day. The advantage of that is, uh, the fact that the character has been out, is that I've had a chance to play her a little bit, and I'm not going in here totally blind, so this will be a character look, just like my other videos. Uh, however, you know, unlike all my other videos, I already know some stuff. Very basic stuff, of course, but... You know, I, I got a few things up my sleeve. Generally with this character, people seem to think she's a lot better than Terminator. I think Terminator is generally agreed by most people to be mediocre at best. He's just not that good, way too slow, huge hitbox and all that. But Sindel seems to be a lot more powerful. It seems like she has stuff going for her. Uh, maybe she's even OP. But let's start with her movement, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, her walk speed is fast, and her dashes, especially her forward dash is very good. And she has air mobility. That's probably one of her best tools, that she can just like fly up in the air like this and move around fairly quickly. Of course, she's mega vulnerable when she's in the air like that, especially with a game where uh, jump attacks are so strong. Speaking of her jump attacks, she has her air-to-air, -air, which is actually decent. Uh, you know, a lot of these air-to-air -air moves are kind of difficult to hit with on the ground. Frost has a move that looks kind of similar, and that, that thing is like mega hard to hit with. But with this one, it's, it's not the worst. So, you know, you can do some more damage in your combos, whatever. Her jumping one, non nothing special. Her jump three isn't that special either. One of the unique things about her is her short hops, if I can... I can get them. God damn it. There we go. So this one. I swear I'm. There we go. This one covers a lot of distance. And this one is multi hitting. I think it is the only short hop that is multi hitting. So yeah, that's unique, but I don't know. Like, people don't really use short hops, anyways. Doesn't matter. Let's get into her strings. If you look through her combo strings, again, she doesn't have many. Her frame data is decent, I would say. She has some unsafe stuff, uh, especially relating to her mix-ups. But overall, I would say she is on the safer side. I mean, definitely not like Cabal levels, but yeah, she, she is pretty safe. Uh, I've tried her combo strings out, and honestly, they are nothing special. This one is probably her best, because it's a mid. And she can actually go into a mid overhead or into a mid low overhead. So she's got some mix up potential. This string is also really good. It puts her super far away, but it is unsafe. And then, of course, she has her overhead. Uh, she does not have an overhead low. I like Terminator. Uh, again, as in like having overhead starters and low starters. But she has some stuff. So, that's about it for strings. Again, string-wise, I would say nothing special. However, she does have a couple of key normals. One of them being this one, which is actually a meterless launcher, which, as you know, if you play this game, not many characters have meterless launchers. But Sindel does, and you can actually convert this into decent combo damage. Uh, even if, and if you're willing to spend bar, which, there we go. Especially in this variation, uh, you can you can get some decent damage with her. Apparently, this thing is like really difficult to punish. Uh, this move, it is unsafe, but she moves so far back that it's like very very difficult to get a hold on her. Other normal worth mentioning is this one. This is a double mid, very good attack. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is unsafe. Let me just check. Negative 7. No, it's actually it's plus on block. This used to be her, a special move for her, if I remember correctly, in MKX. She was, of course, not playable in MKX, but their 
was a model for her with special moves. You could hack the game and play her. And this card wheel, she had that. She actually had an infinite off of it. A block infinite, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so she's got that. And this is like her main mid for the advancing. Slow, I will admit. Slower than some other mids in the game, but, but still decent. Alright, so that about covers her key moves. Let's get into her special moves. She has most of the classics. I've already shown you the float, but she has this move. Uh, combo Ender. You can EX it, and yes you can. I remembered correctly that you can pick the distance, or not the distance, the direction the enemy goes in. So that is very good. They've added this like ability to most characters roster where they can like direct the opponent it's very important for especially the characters who are like not zoners so she has that she's also got okay that's a uh, variation specific but she has the scream uh, which you can delay or can cancel as well uh, how do you cancel it R r2 so how the screen works is it does damage and it gives you plus frames if you just do it normally. If you charge it, it does actually become a combo. I don't know if you can get a jump in, but you definitely can get some other shit. Now, whether realistically you're ever going to get this, I don't think so. Not in a serious match, I would say. Uh, but yeah. How do you cancel this thing? I've done it before. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you can cancel it. And you get some plus frames, but I don't know. This move honestly doesn't seem like that special to me. Uh, the regular one is probably the best. Giving you some good old pl plus frames you can go in for a throw. Although probably m all of our max ups. Max ups? Mix-ups from what I've seen are too slow to You know really make it a guess uh, when you hit someone with this move All right, let's get into the variation stuff. This variation is called splitting hairs Probably the best one I would say maybe with the exception of well actually you know from what I've seen all her variations are good But this one is extremely combo focused because she has a new move negative 7 but launcher and she also has a negative 22 overhead move yeah I mean this is just a straight-up launcher this only serves one purpose uh, you can combo end with it and get some things but yeah this is a launcher so any move can be turned into a combo that this yeah and you can double amplify it and get very good damage actually there are some other enders you can go for let me just try that I mean if you do the one with the two uh, launchers it does get a little bit finicky but it's nothing bad as you can see that's 38% damage very 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 decent damage so yeah definitely damage and combo focus character maybe a little bit more unsafe than uh her other variations we're gonna go into this variation next oh i i, I kind of did show the float i was gonna say i didn't show the float which is a special move but of course you know you know what it's all about now this one this one is more interesting she has some uh, delayable moves one of them being this banshee when it like goes towards you like she walks walks towards you if you get like maximum walking distance you get a uh, launcher uh, other than that it's just her normal scream but a little bit farther reaching it also doesn't leave the opponent standing it actually knocks them down frame wise negative 17 but you can delay it amplify it uh, I'm fairly sure amplification, yeah, it just pushes opponents away. So this is like the scream focused variation. It actually does a lot of damage. Uh, you also get the shriek, which is like the 
It's like the versions she has in the other variations. It's just a little bit more special because you can like amplify it, cancel it. I think in the other variations, the difference is you cannot amplify it, which I'm... There we go. There we go. You have to hold it a little bit. And this does launch. Actually, I don't know if it does. No, no it doesn't, but it gives you quite a lot of hit advantage, so you got that going for you. And you also have this move. This move is very unique. It's basically an air dash, kind of like Jackie Briggs's uh, thingy in her variation, her third variation. This makes Sindel an absolute mix-up machine because... The way this move works is it's actually fairly ambiguous a lot of times where it's gonna land. And I've seen some crazy combos with this variation uh, of people like... I cannot do it, uh, but they just chain like jump-ins and uh, sp this float move. It actually gets kind of crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the variation I've played the least because... This one doesn't really suit my style, but uh, for like really flashy combo people, it's like definitely something you should check out. And finally she has this move where she launches her little Banshee, and if you amplify it, you can warp to it, so you got that going for you. Yeah, that's... Oh, this is how people were doing crazy combos, if I remember correctly. Combination of both. Honestly, again... This variation, definitely not going to be my style, but if it's your thing, then great. But yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Now, this one is kind of ridiculous, I think. The third variation, Royal Edinian. This one is a keep out monster. Uh, doesn't have much in this variation, Sindel. She has this trap move, which they've shown this in the demo. It'll create an orb and it'll launch unblockable little orbs at the opponent. This is going to be absolute hell. Uh, like, this is going to be able to chip out enemies crazy well. Like, it's, it's, it's going to be bad. Uh, because imagine just the opponent is down on life. Knock down, set this up. What the hell can you do? There, it's literally unblockable, so... Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Uh, as far as I know, this can kill, so... Yeah, the only thing you could do is run away, uh, because this doesn't have a lot of range on it. But, if you do that, she has some other tools. First of all, she has a projectile, and she has this move, which is like an air projectile. See, the reason I think this character could get kind of crazy is because... Characters that have projectiles, air projectiles, where you can jump back are kind of insane. And this covers a lot of distance. Like, it seems like you can just, like, machine gun this and keep the opponent out crazy, crazy well. Uh, yeah, low projectile as well, this one. I mean, this one is a mid, the air one. But this one, oh, I keep doing it wrong. Somehow my instinct is to do down back, but that's not it. Yeah, this one is crazy. Uh, it goes under a lot of projectiles from other characters. I've seen videos of it. It gets kind of crazy. Yeah, it, it like goes under everything. Crazy low profiling. And of course, this does launch, so you still have... You still have some combo ability. Uh, it doesn't... You don't completely lose, like, the amount of damage you can do. I'm kind of bad at combos with this variation. Uh, the first one is really the one that is that combo focused, but this one, I think the keep out is gonna get kinda crazy. Uh, yeah, and that's Sindel, and that's really her strength. She covers everything. Like, she has a variation for everything. I think probably the second one, the second variation, Loud and Clear, I think it's called, has the most potential. This one has the most potential to be annoying, and the first one has a lot of potential for combos, kind of simpler combos, and still doing a lot of damage. 
we're gonna have to see where this character develops i think again just in principle very early opinions she is looking way better than terminator and not that terminator is terrible but he's just lacking in some areas and she doesn't like like she she isn't lacking in many areas uh i think aside from having you know maybe a slower overhead but yeah that's sindel man we'll see what people do with this character she's not even tournament legal of course uh she'll become tournament legal 30 days from now a little bit less than 30 days uh and we'll see what people do with her not like that so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe do all that as you always do guys make sure to keep watching and subscribe if you're new here see you guys on more mk videos if i make them in the future at least i'm gonna be making them with the release of new characters hopefully i will be on time for the next character that comes out so now thanks for watching and peace out guys goodbye